Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to model surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. At this point in our workflow, we have finished creating our surfaces in our physical model. We have assigned our section properties and thicknesses. We have adjusted our local access system and modeled all of our loading. We are now ready to build our analytical model. Now, before we do that, I do recommend performing a quick integrity check in your model. This command will use to perform a range of checks for duplicate objects, overlapping objects, orphan nodes, warped surfaces, and also zero length members. To interrogate your model, we're going to go to the model tab in the ribbon toolbar and perform an integrity check. Here you can select all the different situations you want to check for and then we'll go ahead and click validate. Now in the output pane at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna be able to see if any of these situations were found. For me, I'm seeing none reported. Now, if the program did find anything, say uh, some duplicate nodes or duplicate members, you would be able to, at this point, delete those particular items. I'm not seeing any of that, so we'll go ahead and click close. We are now ready to go ahead and send our model back to the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. To do that, we're going to select our model tab in our ribbon toolbar and tell the program to return to the analytical modeler. It's going to let you know that the model has been changed and it's going to give you an opportunity to save. Now, every time you go ahead and build your analytical modeler, Basically what STAD Pro will do is it'll go ahead and rebuild your input file. Now within the STAD Pro analytical modeler, you're gonna create all of your model geometry, your properties, specifications, loading, and analysis commands. Everything that comes after analysis would then take place in the STAD Pro analytical modeler, which includes performing the analysis and specifying any design options. If you were working on a concrete model, you'd also have the ability to send your model data over to the RCDC for full design and detailing. Now at this point, the return to the analytical modeling dialog will let me know if my analytical model creation was successful. It was, so I'll go ahead and click OK. And the program will send me over to the analytical modeler. Once within the analytical modeler, you should be able to see all the information that you would specified in your physical modeler. That would include the properties for any of your surfaces. Here we can see, here we can see the plate thicknesses that were assigned. We should also be able to see the material properties that were assigned, concrete versus steel. We should be able to review the local access system and also take a look at your MAT foundation supports. Finally, for this particular model, we also specified our loading information. Now, the way a physical modeling workflow works within the full scheme of your overall modeling workflow is that everything through model geometry to analysis commands is going to happen in the STAD Pro physical modeler. For that reason, what you're gonna see is that once you're in the analytical modeler, a lot of your tools are currently grayed out. This is because the program wants to make sure that you are maintaining consistency between your physical and analytical modeler. Because at this point, those two are officially linked. Now, if you ever come to a point in your modeling process where you do want to officially break that link, and we're just in the analytical modeler, you do have the ability to break it. To do that, you would go to the utilities tab in the ribbon toolbar and drop your physical model. Now, this is a one-time operation and cannot be reversed, so you do want to take caution when using that operation. In addition to that, it's also important to note that although a lot of the items within your model cannot be modified in the analytical modeler. You can go back to the physical modeler at any point and make adjustments. For example, let me go back to my physical modeler. 
And say what I want to do is I want to change my mesh density. Now what this is going to do is it's going to show you the full capabilities of the ability to make changes within a physical model. So I'm going to go to my data tab in my ribbon toolbar. I'm going to go to my options icon and I'm going to change my global mesh density to two feet. Click OK and I'm going to return to the analytical modeler. The analytical model was created successfully, so let's go ahead and click OK. My input file was recreated and my mesh density was modified. So here you can see how easily you can go back and forth. You can change your mesh density. You can change your loading. You can add additional reference lines or regions. And you can even change the size or location of any of your openings within your surfaces. At this point, this concludes our workflow for modeling surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.